Welcome back to another edition of Inside O-Town, and I think we have a really fun show today. Um, last week we had a chance to do a show on uh, therapy and therapeutic riding with, with special needs kids. Today we're going to talk about the body and, and fitness. Sure. We're with Brian and Kristen, and I'm going to have you say it. Kalate. Kalate. <laughs> it's Slovakian. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a brand new, uh, kind of an interesting uh, athletic fitness uh, business in town. Yes. And by the name of Fit Body Camp. And it's kind of unique in its approach. Maybe you can maybe, first of all, welcome to Ortonville. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's been, everybody's been super nice, which helps. And I guess the follow-up is explain a little bit what it is that you guys are doing. Sure. Well, you know, a lot of, a lot of people have a bad relationship with fitness right off the bat. They, it's something they don't really look forward to, right? Um, they, they think they need to go on extreme diets. They think they need to spend hours on treadmills in the gyms. And it just doesn't sound welcoming. And it usually isn't when you walk in. So what Fit Body Boot Camp's done is it's thrown that model completely out the door. Um, we focus on short to the point workouts. So the workouts are only 30 minutes, which is great because we know a lot of people don't have time to spend hours in the gym, right? Uh, and, but what makes it more than that is really is we focus on coaching people. So, you know, we were, we have in-house nutritionists that help tailor your needs food-wise. So if there's a mental, like, oh, I have a sweet tooth, our nutritionist can help work around that and we give you ways to mentally build it, a long-term habit out of it. So we attack nutrition, obviously the exercise, but more importantly, we make it a mentality shift because I think we've all tried stuff before that, you know, this is going to work and we tried it and then it just you hit a brick wall because that brain didn't believe. It hit a point where it goes, ah, this is too hard. It's just not going to work. Okay, but if it's, as, if it's as simple as burning more calories than you take in. It's, it's not. It's not that. That's actually a huge misunderstanding. I'm really okay. actually glad you brought that up. Right. A lot of people think if I eat a cheesecake, that's 350 calories. I got to go burn 350 calories. There's these mystical things called hormones, right? And when you eat certain foods, there's a hormonal response for that food inside the body that's a little bit more than 300 calories sometimes, Would right? hormone be considered bloat? Sure, <laughs> I mean, you could. I mean, it, it, it can be. Yeah, I mean, really, when you think about it, unhealthy foods are gonna make you feel bloated because the body can't digest them properly, right? I mean, right. you and I both know 1,800 calories of a McDonald's Big Mac is very different than 1,800 calories of like a chef's salad with chicken on it, right? right. Portion-wise, very big. Feeling wise, very different, right? right. So, uh, you know, it's very, I'm really glad you said that because a lot of uh, what people think is, oh, I just have to burn more than I eat. And it's actually a lot more than that, right? Because exercise, you're burning calories. You're not necessarily burning fat during the workout. It happens post workout if you did your workout correctly. You're just burning energy during the workout. It's a huge misconception that developed way back in the 80s. But that's essentially what we found now. You're burning calories during a workout, which is just active energy. You're burning fat post-workout in the nutrition, the sleep, the hydration, the recovery part of the day. So then adding to the, the formula, then if I'm building muscle, I'm trying yes. to get my body in shape, which sure. has nothing to do with the fuel that we're talking sure. about. Um, those are really two separate issues. Yes. Well, and you can you can slightly, there's a way to kind of do it at the same time. Uh, obviously, if you're going for more of a bodybuilder, you know, I'm going to play football type build, uh, the training is going to be very different than what we do. We're going to attack, yes, fat loss with the nutrition and the mindset, yes. Our workouts are going to help build that lean tone muscle, but if you're looking for bulky, powerful, like powerlifting style muscles, it's just not obviously what different, we're going to do. Different yeah, obviously different, yes. Okay. Now you're the nutritionist, and we're going to talk a little bit about <laughs> oh, your yeah. opening. Yeah. <laughs> what is the biggest misconception from everyday folks about eating? What is it that we do wrong? Oh man. And that's that's a long <laughs> question. I understand. But pick one thing. What's if I if you were to say to me one thing that I'm doing wrong at home, what is it what I'm doing? Prob As a general person. Probably the food choices. When you go to the grocery store, you wanna save as much money as possible. So of course the cheaper, not so good processed foods are gonna be what everyone wants to get because it's a lot cheaper. But in reality it's really not as good for you. You're gonna pay more with your doctor bill than what you would saving money. <laughs> and just, just hit me, is there a reversal process if I'm an older guy in my case and I change my dietary? If I'm a, if I'm, I'll give you sure. an example. If I'm an alcoholic and I stop drinking, my body recovers to some extent. Sure. Mm -hmm. If I start eating better foods, does my body recover? Oh, I if I put it, years it, of if I okay. put years of salt yeah. And years of diet go into it. Get, yes, well, it, it, it will take time. It is possible. People do it all the time. I mean, we've done, you can do detoxes, but I'll be completely straight with you. If you just ate the right amount of vegetables every day and stuck with good proteins, just good food, not complicated, just good food, it will naturally detox itself over time. You don't need to go spend crazy amounts of money on expensive juice 
I'm going to be on the toilet for the next week type of <laughs> detoxes. It's just unnecessary, okay? Just focus on those minor habit shifts over time. Keep putting the good fuel in and it will regulate it. So it's not going to happen immediately It'll take because you're time. talking years of going down one direction and trying to shift directions, but one step at a time. I, I've just got this image in my head from the, the bathroom. Thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about when we no, see no, those I, detoxes. I do, I do. The magic drink that's going to make yeah. you... Right. No, I, yeah, it's you know. not. I, I get it. I still have that image here, so it's going to take a couple of seconds. While I'm trying to get that image out of my head, we're going to come back. But When you come back from commercial, you're going to have a chance to see their grand opening, and I want to talk about that after yes. we come back from that. So we'll, uh, we'll put that in between this conversation and the one we're going to have coming up, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of seconds. We all assume that gun owners have a knowledge about gun safety, but that's not always the case. There are simple precautions that gun owners can take to make sure that their firearms don't pose a danger for our community. Proper firearm storage is the number one way to prevent tragic accidents. Use a gun lock or store your firearms in a lock safe. Gun safes are available at local retailers. Free gun locks are available at your police department. Through responsible storage, we can do our part to invest in safety. Lock it up, Oakland. Safe storage saves lives. Mental health disorders are serious and treatable conditions. Isolation, loneliness, and changes in behavior could be signs that someone you know is suffering from depression. Learn how to recognize when family or friends are in crisis and what you can do to help. Mental health does matter. Contact the Resource and Crisis Helpline with your concerns at 1-800-231-1127. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Brian. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You just gave me that beautiful speech. You have to be in this picture. It's only fair. There you go. Where are we looking? We, uh, we did most of it inside because of the road noise, but I do want to just say a few words about the ribbon cutting. Uh, a ribbon cutting ceremony symbolizes opening of an establishment, storefront, building, or facility. One explanation of how ribbon cutting ceremonies came to be is, historically, many projects under construction have construction tape around them to keep people out. The tape, I guess, is a symbol that the establishment is not yet ready for public use. When construction is done, you can cut the tape, so to speak, and allow the public to enter. At some point, that tape got changed to a ribbon. Modern ribbon cutting ceremonies symbolize new beginnings. The cutting of a ribbon signifies a fresh start. A ribbon can be stretched across an entryway to signify that what is behind the ribbon is waiting to be presented to the world. And today, Fit Body Boot Camp, Hortonville, is ready. To Brian, Marsha, Kristen, Melissa, Megan, Summer, Christina, and Bill, all of us welcome you to Hortonville and wish you great success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go. I want to mess this up. Yeah, go. Right. You got one chance. Is this is this center? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, you want to cut the bottom? Yep. Come on, Melissa. Opportunity and quite frankly, I don't know if this is in your vernacular. I think it might be. It's go time. Yes. Everybody. Yes. Uh, so thanks for being here today. I'd like to introduce our village manager, David Trent, to officially welcome uh, Fit Body Boot Camp for Thank you, Matt. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And it's a pleasure for me to uh, represent the village of Wartonville 
and for the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony for our new business here in the village of Ortonville, Fit Body Boot Camp. Earlier today, some of you may have been in the area where there was a procession that went by for the Michigan Vietnam Wall. Uh, for those that uh, lived in our state of Michigan that died during the Vietnam War. And uh, if your schedule permits, uh, that wall is going to be on location at the Brandon Township Community Park. There's a whole day of activities going on out there. It's a very busy day in Ortonville and Brandon Township. And uh, you know, ironically, as things work out, uh, uh, Road Commission of Oakland County is paving Oakwood Road today. <laughs> wow. So Finally. You, you might have a little bit of difficulty getting down there, but uh, that road will be paved and finished today. So if your schedule permits, and uh, I'm not sure how long that wall is going to be out there until 9 o'clock? Oh, all day. Wow, so yeah, so if your schedule permits, uh, I encourage you to go out there and just reflect a little bit about the, those that served our country and gave the ultimate sacrifice uh, to defend our land and our freedom. But as I was thinking about that procession that was going to take place today and the opening of Fit Body Boot Camp, the term boot camp obviously comes to mind. You know, those, uh, those men and women who served our country uh, during the Vietnam War, when they enlisted or they got drafted back at that era, uh, they were in various states of shape. Some might have been in very good condition physically, and then there were some that might have been a little like me that uh, you know, would get winded quickly. And uh, as part of uh, any uh, man or woman who enlists in the uh, armed services, they go to boot camp. And uh, I recall my dad, who was in the Air Force during the Korean War, uh, going to a boot camp in El Paso, Texas, and him sharing, me, uh, sharing with me some tales of the 10-mile marches with 50-pound backpacks. Uh, and uh, you get into shape pretty quickly when you go through that rigorous kind of training. And just like in the, the military, when people go through boot camp, they come out physically fit and ready to serve. And in a similar vein, the people that come through the doors of Fit Body Boot Camp are in various stages of physical condition. Some might be in great shape and just want to maintain or possibly enhance where they are. And there's others that are at various stages of physical condition and they're looking for ways to improve themselves overall. And, uh, and you folks help accomplish that. And you help those folks go through a transformation. And uh, we are so pleased that the Fit Body Boot Camp family has decided to locate here at this very distinct prime location at the key gateway entry point to our village. Uh, this is a critical piece of real estate for the village. And we are just thrilled that a family of the Caliber of the Caracase has taken advantage of the opportunity to locate here in our village property. And there's a transformation going on. You're going to be transforming people as they come in here to get physically fit. But because of the hard work and effort of the property owner of this location, Bonnie Morrow, she has helped transform the exterior of these two buildings. And pretty soon there will be a next door neighbor uh, in the other building. We have a Dollar Tree that will be opening up in the next several weeks. But partly because of Fit Body Boot Camp coming to town, there is an aesthetic transformation going on here in the village of Orgerville as well. And we're just so pleased that we're going to be able to take advantage of the synergy of two great tenants coming to this key piece of real estate in our downtown area. And we're looking forward to you folks enjoying some great success. You know, a key ingredient any successful business is a good marketing plan. And it's obvious that the Calicades have figured out a good marketing plan. And that's profoundly demonstrated by all the dozens of people that are here today. And another key ingredient of a great business is not only their own internal success, but that they're able to reach out and help other enterprises that are connected with them. And it's that connectivity I just want to talk about for a second. 
I heard the story when Melissa first uh, introduced herself uh, to our office staff that uh, you folks have developed a relationship with the health food store. And uh, you know, one of the benefits of working with a, a great company like you yourselves and a team of trained instructors and coaches is that uh, you try to encourage people to be a little healthier in their lifestyle, uh, eating and physical exercise. And uh, there was a uh, health food store that was kind of small named Rebe Rebecca's that was located near their first location in Lapeer. And because of the connectivity with Fit Body Boot Camp, Rebecca's grew and prospered. And then the Calicase decided hey, we're going to expand it to a second location. So they uh, started another location in Grand Blanc. Well, Rebecca's did so well uh, with their interface with your first location, they expanded to a second location in Grand Blanc to take advantage of that connectivity. And I can only hope that in the future, that <laughs> Rebecca's might consider coming to work well as well. So, yes. <laughs> so, I, I'm, I'm very optimistic that in the not too distant future, we will look upon this glorious sunshiny day, June 24th, 2017, as the beginning of a new renaissance here in the village of Orton. And we're going to be able to tie it back to Fit Body Boot Camp opening its doors for its third location here in the village of Orton. So, Brian, to you and your family, and to your great staff, we, would, uh, we look forward to your great success on behalf of our village council and our village president, who was trying desperately to try to get here. <laughs> he was uh, on vacation on the west coast in San Francisco, had a flight that was supposed to leave San Fran uh, yesterday afternoon. Something happened. He ended up getting waylaid in Chicago. Chicago to Grand Rapids, and here he is, he's driving from Grand Rapids in the rental car, trying to get back to Orkville. It's probably construction. <laughs> but uh, he extends his uh, congratulations to you folks opening up your facility here. Uh, pleased to have our clerk from Brandon Township representing the township here, Candy Alley. Thank you, Candy, for being here. Village staff that you folks have had the chance to meet, Beth and Liz and Bill Denham, our uh, building official, uh, and of course Matt Jenkins, our DEA executive director, and myself as the village manager. I want you to know that you and your team always have an open door at 476 Mill Street to come down and share your concerns. We want to do everything we can to help facilitate businesses to not only just uh, thrive, but succeed great uh, in our community. And we're looking forward to uh, you folks helping be part of the ignition that makes Portville a great business economic boom town over the next several years. Yes. housekeeping duties that uh, we want to extend to you as part of our welcoming to the village of Mortonville. And we trust that you'll find a nice place oh, yes, sir. in your wall space here to hang these. First of all, a certificate of special recognition presented to you this day on June 24th to Fit Body Boot Camp in recognition and honor of the grand opening. Welcome to downtown Mortonville and sign by Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Executive who is very pro business minded, and uh, Brooks Patterson, who I happen to know personally, uh, extends his uh, regrets that he wasn't able to be here with us today. But he asked me to uh, provide this county executive declaration from himself. Well, Brooks Patterson hereby issues a special proclamation saluting Fit Body Boot Camp on the occasion of its ribbon cutting celebration Saturday, June 24, 2017. Whereas Fit Body Boot Camp is the home of the Afterburn Workout, <laughs> a group personal training program of high energy, 
fun and challenging workouts designed to burn maximum fat and tone the entire body for only 30 minutes. That sounds great. And free shipping. <laughs> and wear abs. Fit Body Boot Camp's Amber workouts use a combination of high intensity interval training and active rest training to get the body to burn more fat calories than traditional workouts. For twice as long, every group training session is led by an experienced and certified personal trainer. And where we're at, Fit Body Boot Camp personalized workouts in order to get the best results in modifying workout programs to fit individual fitness goals and fitness levels. And where we're at, Fit Body Boot Camp is a welcome addition to the Oakland County business community, enhances the quality of life in Oakland County by promoting active and healthy lifestyles. Now, therefore, let it be known that I, L. Brooks Patterson, Oakland County Executive, do hereby authorize the issuance of a special proclamation saluting Fit Body Boot Camp on the occasion of its ribbon cutting ceremony signed L. Brooks Patterson. <laughs> This is our third location moment, as you said. By far the best welcome, I think, as a whole, ever. we've ever received. So yes. thank you, round of applause. <laughs> it's Saturday, we know who's busy, we know there's a million things going on, so it really does mean so much to you guys here. And thank you for welcoming us. I mean, Melissa has been all over. There's not been one place that just wasn't friendly and excited. Those are the communities that we look forward to have an impact on. So, we hope to do to Orgo what it has done to us and welcome us to open arms and we intend to do the same to you. I don't know if you know this or not, but we actually have a 100,000 pound mission. We're trying to take this local area over here that's 100,000 pounds of fat before 2025. We kind of run out of time, right? But the good news is we've lost currently between our other two facilities before we even open here over 18,000 pounds of fat. <laughs> and make friends and change their lives, change their body for the greater good. Because I think I speak for everyone when I say a healthy community is a happy community, right? So that's what we intend on doing. We are so yeah. rooted in community. I just want to give shout outs to my team that has made this possible. Can we please get a round of applause for my <laughs>
right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is yeah. He's here from Canal. We yeah. are doing a charity fundraiser to benefit this event, so we're doing raffle tickets. Again, helping the community out. It's five dollars a ticket, or four, or five for twenty, and you can win a brand new Apple Watch. But I want you to tell you a little bit about this charity, and you'll see why we pick this charity to support with this. All right. So, big round of applause for Bobby Mitchell. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, real quickly, we just want to thank uh, Brian Pitbull and for reaching out, uh, for allowing us to reach out to them and for agreeing to uh, help us out with our, our, our share of our program. Uh, about three years ago, Sheriff Bouchard, he had a vision that he wanted to bring back uh, free sporting opportunities to youth of the Oakland County uh, areas. And the initial focus has been on the city of Pioneer because the sheriff felt that that's where the biggest, biggest need was. And um, as a result, we are in our second year of uh, providing free sporting programs that include basketball, soccer, uh, baseball, uh, a cheer, and dance. And uh, right now, we are servicing over 400 youth in the city of Pontiac. And what allows us to do that is through charitable, charitable donations. Uh, such as we fit like we can, and it allows us to continue to provide those, those services to you. And so we are in the middle of, we are uh, in the midst of our current summer programming. So uh, whatever donations uh, we receive, 100% goes back to providing those free activities to you. So your participation in today's event, your participation in buying $100 each of uh, the uh, raffle tickets, Lots of stuff going on. We're going to talk a little bit about that in just a second. Uh, we're back with uh, Brian and Kristen. And I got that right? Yes. So we're good there. Um, brain kicked in, so I must be doing. I must be eating right. <laughs> must be eating right today. Uh, let's, we've, we talked a little bit in the opening segment about nutrition and those kinds of things. Let's talk specifically about you guys. What's, what's your background? Um, I actually, I uh, Davidson graduate back in 2006, which makes me almost 12 years old now. At least that's what I look like. That's what I tell people. Uh, but no, we, we came from, I come from a martial arts background. So I taught martial arts for a very long time and then made a transition into fitness because I just wanted to help more people. I taught, I felt as a martial arts instructor, I was just an underpaid babysitter. People just bring me their kids that they didn't know how to discipline and I'd have to correct them. I, I felt like I was helping, but not as many people. So then I kind of made the shift going into fitness kickboxing, which then got me into personal training. Uh, got certified, went through, I don't even, I can't even count many certifications in terms of fitness, fat loss, and nutrition, uh, and then decided to open up my own facility when I was 24. So we've been doing this now for about five, six years. Um, we've lost in the past two years, I wish I would have been tracking fat loss since the beginning, but I wasn't. Uh, we've been tracking for the past two and a half, going on three years now, and we've lost about 18,000 pounds of fat between our two facilities in Grand Blanc and Lapeer. So we've got it dialed in pretty well, but we're always making improvements. Um, and she comes from a medical background. Right? Yes, I worked in healthcare for 10 plus years, graduated from Kersley in 2005. From there, I was in healthcare, and then I decided I wanted to do more with nutrition instead of doing more of like the personal training stuff because I wanted to help people with making them feel better, but not necessarily telling them how many reps to do. So you mentioned that you have a facility in Lapeer, you have yes, a facility yep. in Davis, Grand Blanc. Grand Blanc, yes, and now you're coming to Ortonville, which yes. is a little different community than yes. two, those two. Yes, uh, you're located. You let everybody know where you are located. Yep, so we're located right on the intersection of Grange Hall and M15, uh, right across from the right aid there on M15. 
and uh, our Grand Blank one is up by the Jewel Golf Course in Lapeer, we're right behind Godwin's Furniture. So yeah, spread out a little bit. Uh, they're all kind of within 25, 30 minutes of each other. If I walk into Ortonville, what can I expect to look, what, is it, what does it look like? It does not look like a gym, <laughs> which I think a lot of people like. It looks like a Starbucks with a nice, beautiful floor attached. And people are like, is this the right? Yes, it is the right place. We don't look like a gym because we're not a gym. You don't come in to rent equipment and go home. You go in to become a better person. I mean, I, you and I both know anybody can make you build muscle and lose fat. It's not rocket science nowadays. The, the third part that we really focus on is making you feel good, making you better. Uh, and that takes time. And to do that, you need the right environment. So you're gonna find our environment's very cozy, very welcoming. You're always greeted at the front door when you come in, even if you're brand new. Everyone, it's like cheers. Everyone knows each other's names. Uh, it's a huge fitness family, and that's what we want it to be. We want it to be what we call, what we tell our team is we, this needs to be everyone's third place. Work home and here. We need this to be that getaway where you can just reset your brain, make some friends, laugh a little bit, and, and let it all, you know, let it all out on the floor so you can go home with better peace of mind okay. at the end of the day. When are you open? We are open. Our first session is at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, so we have sessions starting at 5.30, and I think our latest session right now is at 6.10 at night. Uh, but we may be adding a 7 p.m. session here shortly. Uh, how, if I'm sitting in, how do I find out about the, the local area? Easiest way to do it is uh, just go to Ortonville FBBC or Ortonville Fit Body Boot Camp .com. All of our schedules on there. You can try us for three day free. If you go on the website, you can opt in with your email. We'll send you a voucher to get you three days free to try us. No obligation or anything. Just come and meet us and uh, get get your sweat on a little bit. And if I'm showing up to work out, what am I wearing? Uh, wear anything that makes you feel comfortable. I always tell people the lower the platform on the shoe, the better. That way you have less chance of ankle issues. So, you know, wear some comfy shoes, bring a sweat towel and water bottle, bring a comfy shirt and some, some track pants. You know, this is our work attire. Gym shorts and, and comfy shirts. So don't overthink it too much. How do I get past, I just, you know, I've been in the chair for 20 years. Sure. Those are the folks that really need it more than a guy who occasionally goes back. Over sure. Over goes. sure. How do I get that guy motivated that's just... You have knows to, that there's no there's no chance in the world that they're going to help. You know? you know you know what I always tell people you have to find the pain. You have to find a pain that is greater than the fear of change. Because if you don't, there's no way you're going to change. If the fear of change is greater than the fear of what's going to happen to you while you're sitting on that chair, nothing's ever going to change you. But if you find that one thing that scares you to death from sitting in the chair, and that fear is way greater than the fear of not doing something, that's when you're actually going to get the why to get up and step out of the comfort zone. But until that happens, it's a mental thing, like we just said. Okay. So I come in, and I'm a typical, you know, I'm, what's, what's your, do you have a typical client? Usually women, usually, you know, women more than yeah, men. Yeah, 35, 50 is usually what we get a lot of. We get a lot of husbands though that come in with the wives. That, that's fantastic. Isn't that crazy? Why wouldn't we have more women than men? Honestly, you know, I, th I think women don't have a problem asking for directions and help. Honestly, that's what I think it is. But no, uh, it really comes down to that's what we've dealt with the most for some reason. That's what usually comes in and says, my kid poked my fat the other day. I don't want that to ever happen again. Or, you know, my husband, I just want him to flirt with me like he used to. I mean, we get every reason for women coming in and asking for that help. Uh, and then they usually end up dragging their husbands and men think it's like jazzercise or something. And they're like, yeah, you just go do your thing. And then they come in and actually do the workout. They're like, we were totally wrong. This was totally like a real workout. So probably a lot more ropes than there might be dancing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's ropes. There's dumbbells. There's suspension like the TRX trainers. There's platforms. There's everything that involves the whole body to use it, not just little isolated pieces of equipment. There's no treadmills because between you and us, I, we hate treadmills. So, uh, yeah, there was a study done in 1994 in Australia by this guy named Dr. Boucher that proved that people who ran like on treadmills, linear running, just running to run, took an average of 50 to 60 hours to lose one pound of fat. So we don't condone treadmill running, at least not for fat loss. If you love to run, run. We're not saying don't do that, but it's a very different game. We have so much more science now than what we had back in the 90s, 80s, 70s. You know, it, it's upped its game so much more now that fitness is becoming more mainstream. Well, I think probably if, if anybody in the world, bodybuilders yeah. who are so attuned to nutrition. Yes, and what they're the they masters do, of it. Whether they do or they like it, but they certainly have to be at the top yes. level mm -hmm. of understanding what nutrition does to yeah. the body yes. for their shows. I mean, their regimen of eating it's two so or three weeks a month it's before a show is, it's so you and violent. I look at the, the schedule, you, you think you're, you'd be nuts to yeah. these mm -hmm. guys eat. It's, it's, we don't, that's why we don't call it bodybuilding. We call it like discipline okay. timing, right? right? Because it has to, you have to have the discipline to hold that schedule, to time it, to hit that peak during that window, right? The question I'm wondering in my head right now as I'm talking about this is, that, are you like a chiropractor? And here's my point. <laughs> 
my point to it is that if I go to a chiropractor once, it's my belief, and this may not be true, sure. he ha I have to keep going back to him because he has to keep adjusting. Sure. Mm -hmm. If I go to Lifetime for a month and I stop, I have to go back kind of. Sure. So it's, it, it certainly is a full-time activity yes. to keep yourself in shape. Yes. What's the return? And work, if I get to a point where I'm in halfway decent shape, can I, can I peak? Can I, if I'm doing seven days a week to get in shape, yeah. at what point can I find myself not having to go seven days a week? You know, this is what I Is that about. a dumb question? You know, no, it's not a dumb question. It's really smart because here's, here's the honest truth. You're either getting better or you're getting worse, right? So there's no such thing as maintenance. That's a huge myth. Okay, and that's, I guess that's huge what I'm Huge myth, for. yeah. So do, I'll be honest, the majority of like big box style gyms, not to knock them because I belong to one, right? But big box style gyms, are average membership lifespan is between three and six months before people are like, it's just isn't working, right? Not for everyone, but the majority of people. Full disclosure, our average client lifespan is 14 to 18 months. And it's not because we're making them stay or locking them in with anything weird. It's because of the environment. Yes, you can work out at home. It's free. You can go outside and do sprint intervals. It's free. You can get online and get a free diet to follow. It's free. But what you're going to find is we're not necessarily in the fitness business. We're in the motivation business. You know what to do. You know what's healthy and what's not. Everyone knows what they should be doing. It's the lack of knowing and doing. It's that gap. That's where we come in. So yes, if we get you to that point where you're hitting it, your mind is shifted, and you have a regimen and you're gonna do it on your own, that's awesome. But when you feel like you need that boost of motivation to help bridge that gap again, that's really what we specialize in. Is that why maybe Weight Watchers is probably more effective than a lot of food? It's kind the of accountability. Like because it's the accountability. It's the accountability. That's it's what accountability. we specialize in, yeah. That's really what it comes down to. Everyone knows what to do. It's that bridge of knowing and what you're doing. That's where people fall short. Is there, I'm a coach, and sure. I say this from a standpoint, is there an age limit in terms of youth coming younger? And the reason I say that, I'm not an advocate of having a 13-year-old weight, weight left. Correct. You right. it's, just, That's it's just insane. It's good. Yeah, I agree. And 100%. I see dads that are, you know, freshman high school dads, that it's these kids bad. are lifting like they're trying to build to be Mr. Olympus. I agree. It is yes. a young body that hasn't completed. It's going to get messed up later in life. And it's got just all kinds of problems. Yes, sir. So my point to it is, is your, because it, I don't think yours is, based on weight training to some no. extent. We have dumbbells in there, obviously, but you're not going to see the classic body resistance is style different training. Yes, absolutely. This is more total body compound movements with dumbbells. This isn't going to be your bench presses, your squats, your clean snatch, stuff like that, okay. right? So we have a minimum minimum of 16 and older, but really truthfully, we don't like people to be training unless they're 18 and older, honestly. Uh, just because A, it's not really our target target market, uh, and B, there are a lot of, like you said, there are training discrepancies you need to take into play when you're working with the youth that can stunt muscle growth if you do it wrong. Now, a lot of our coaches are certified in working with them. We just don't, that's not what we focus on. We focus on the busy mom who has got 20, 30 pounds. It's just like they're getting sick of it. They're getting stressed. They need more energy to keep up with family and kids. That's the person we're really honing in on. And of course, the husbands usually end up getting dragged into there with them, which is always a lot of fun to get a hold of. And then they all end up staying because they love it. Yeah. And it's like, a family atmosphere. For them. It is. They're like, I get to spend time with my wife and we don't want to kill each other. It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, am I missing anything? No. Any you, you've been spot on, man. Yeah. I guess the first question I would have, or that question, but uh, if I need to get a hold of you, yes. can you give us your, your website? Absolutely. So you go to OrtonvilleFitBodyBootCamp.com, or you can give us a call, 248-303-8099. You actually get to talk to a real person in-house, uh, not mm -hmm. customer support in India. So uh, we answer our phones pretty much all the time. So if you have questions, just call us, or even just walk in and say, hey. I will we'll do some follow-ups on this, because I'm kind of curious as to uh, sure. how it works. And, uh, the motivation key is the uh, to me is the factor. Sure, is the, is the difference oh, between yeah. everything else from from those standpoints. So, we appreciate you guys coming. Hey, in. thank you yeah, for having us. Thanks a lot uh, as, as part of the process. And uh, for the guys in back, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.